And uh, maybe our guests now can uh, play a role in making sure that that doesn't happen. Well, our guests are all about love, so if love has anything to do with it. What's love Look. got to do with ah. it? We're going to find out right now. We've got Sunshine Day and Laura Brooks uh, joining us. And uh, Okay, Laura might be a little bit young, but what's love got to do with it is a song sung by <laughs> Tina Turner, okay? Do you remember that song? Yeah. Oh, I you do? Okay. I love Tina Turner. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so you need your throwback. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was Who all there is, brother. I love Tina Turner. <laughs> she was, she's just amazing. Yeah. As are you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So, there, yeah. Go ahead. Well, hey I'm there. always talking. I'm I know. Forward to you. So what are we talking about today, guys? Because Dave, you've been here a few times, but Laura, it's her, your first time on the show, although you know Sandra, because mm-hmm. I met you at one of Sandra's events not too mm-hmm. long ago. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what's the story, guys? What's going on? Uh, we're going to talk about mind, body, soul healing today. Okay. It's a collective of nine healers, and we're looking to do a lot of events across Toronto in the upcoming months. Nice. So outdoor events, sunshine? Out, outdoor or? and indoor. Okay. Indoor for now. It's not very nice out No, now. but I know you're <laughs> big on outdoor <laughs> events. It's starting to feel like yeah. spring with that sunshine, and even today, even though it's pretty cold, it's starting to feel like the spring starts on the Only two more months of winter. Yeah. almost there. Only a few more months. No, yeah. no, six <laughs> weeks, six weeks. Yeah. Big it's difference to me. <laughs> that groundhog. I know. Okay, so are you two of the nine? Two of yes. the nine, yes. Wow, okay. Yes. Cause Laura, so I then know who's, s- I want to know who seven yeah. of nine is. I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nine. Laura is seven of nine. Do you understand that comment? You can't yes, label us. Okay. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> can't number or label us. <laughs> no. Well, no, Star Trek, the Borg, <laughs> seven know. of nine. I know. That was the comment. Well, X Borg. X Borg, yes. Federation crew member now. Okay, yes, that's right. Standing. She was assimilated. Yeah. Yeah. As are we all going to be once we go to the healings. Have, have you guys yeah. been assimilated? Um, I don't follow Star Trek. But you are part of a collective. <laughs> yes. Yes. So she, you have been assimilated by unity consciousness. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything's combining right now. The individual journey is combining with the collective journey right now. It's groups are starting to connect different people. and. Yeah. So to that point, how did the nine of you guys get together? Our good friend, John Arjun, mm-hmm. um, the creator of Mind, Body, Soul Healing, uh, he created a website and he was looking to add uh, different friends and healers who he was comfortable with and provide different services for people. And Laura's yeah. got like a big list on there with everything that we provide. Yeah. So does everybody do something different? Is that how that works? Yeah, pretty much. Like okay. there's, uh, there's a range from uh, Bach flower remedies, ion cleansing, reflexology, feng shui, um, wow. And then different healing modalities besides Reiki, and then different kind of uh, varieties of Reiki, like shamanic Reiki, uh, space clearing, all all sorts. And what are the S- other healings besides Reiki? Because I know, I mean, um, I hear about energy healing, but all I really know about is Reiki. Well, that vortex seems to be healing, the one. of course. Of yeah. course, yes, I know the vortex healing. Yes, yeah. and um, there's uh, quantum Reiki massage, oh, uh, okay. and then the shamanic Reiki as well. Okay. Um, wow. And then I I do a healing modality called Zenith Omega. Okay. Yes. Which is kind of similar to uh, vortex, so um, the, you're just uh, releasing energetic blocks, and you you feel better after the hour and. And all it's of wonderful. these are no touch, right? Or are they touch? Yeah, mine is no touch. Okay. And yours is? <coughs> well, they can be touch or no touch. Okay. I find touch generally amplifies the healings for people okay. who are comfortable with it. Yeah. But with Reiki, yeah. there's touch for sure. And, How about all and touch I do and that. no contact? <laughs> 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 it's like a... Like a what? <laughs> like a virgin. <laughs> Yeah, I could tell there was a song lyric in there somewhere. Yes, <laughs> yes. Everybody okay, we're moving from <laughs> Tina Turner <laughs> to Madonna? Well, uh, really? Yeah, but don't forget, we did hit on uh, Carol Pope in between. We did? Rough trade. I, I wasn't here for that. All touching, all touching, no contact. Oh, okay. Oh, that song. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I now love that y- song. You know that song, too? <laughs> I love that song. I don't I remember that one. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I love the 80s, too. Yeah. Yeah, that was 80s. That yeah. was 80s. Yeah. The 80s yeah. is okay. the greatest decade ever for music. I don't care what anybody I says. I agree. I don't know about that. I think the 60s. I, I say the 70s. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. So I think the 80s wins. Two 80s, 60s, and 70s. So I think, okay. uh, I think we're Okay, so out. I heard music's going to disappear. I know that's not the topic. Okay, first, reading's going to disappear with yeah, you. Now music, what's, music. what's left? Is eating going to disappear well, too? All, all this healing that these guys are talking about and the combining of the collectives, like that Dave's talking about, 
maybe that's the direction it's going. Actually, mm. I want to ask you guys, mm. you know, let's get into something. Because you guys do this work, right, as part of this healing collective. Like, yeah. like, where are we going as a society with all the stuff that's happening? Dave, you're saying everything's combining. Like, where are we headed? Where are we headed? Like I said, the individual journeys combining with the collective journeys. So people who are ready are, you're not even seeking stuff out. People will come to you, different groups. And like 2014 is the year of shock and awe, in my opinion. What does that mean? Uh, oh. You're going to see st like this system start to crumble and break oh. down. And you may see a mass awakening on the planet. It's already happening, not really in North America. You know, we're the most sleep society in the world. We believe mm. we're free. Mm. But uh, you can, I think you're going to see great changes this year. And it's going to be an intense year for energies, too. Yeah. A lot more than last year. Okay. Oh. And, and so, Laura, what do you have to say about that? Can you get into some of the specifics? Well, I think w what's coming up for me is to that we're all... Uh, we're aware of the community aspect and we're coming together more often but it's also to focus on the self-love for ourselves to feel like we have a strong foundation to go out and do what we're meant to do and and to fulfill our soul purpose so once you know and it helps to make sure that you're doing a job that you love that you're you know whatever it's working with animals or people um, you know if you're an accountant and that's that doesn't uh, do float it. your boat anymore then you know, looking at taking some more courses or whatever it is, uh, you know, volunteering has has uh, been a good path for me to to realize what I'm meant to do and to work with people like that's completely uh, we learn by by working with people. So uh, I think that's really important. But then also, I think part of our, our vision is is to create more opportunities to come together as a community, whether it's eight people meditating together or just you know sharing what we're going through, having uh, sacred talks, all of that is is going to help us uh, just release what no long no longer serves, uh, you know the banking system and all that. That so if we do that within ourselves, I think that really helps to to allow that to manifest in our outside world. And could I add something to that there? For sure. Yeah. You know, as long as we're following like the laws of nature and the universe and following our highest destiny. We're supported in each and every moment by the universe. Now, how do you do that? How can you tell? What can people do to do that? Um, how do they know when they're not, maybe? Yeah. Uh, it's, well, you gotta follow your heart and your instinct, but uh, as a general observation, I find the things I'm supposed to do, it's, it happens of ease and grace. It's effortless when I'm not supposed to do something or if the timing's off. There's always roadblocks thrown in the way, distractions, So stuff for like that. somebody, Sunshine, for somebody who might be married and is working full time and has a mortgage to pay and has a couple of kids, and um, how can they make that real for themselves? How can they do yeah, that? That's a tough Any one ideas? there. That's, that's part of the... Uh, trap I guess yeah keep us busy and distracted you know you go to your job 40 hours a week you know mm. you're married you have a few kids and you really have no time to figure things out but it's uh, not too late for those oh, people it's never too late uh, yeah, that's a hard question you just got to follow your inner guidance like uh, like we third dimension for those who have chosen like uh, completely let go of it like mm -hmm. the earth is in the fourth dimension mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a lot of us now are experiencing the fourth dimension most of the time and things are just gonna be so ch challenging and so painful to hold on to you have no choice but to let go you know so it's gonna come to that point like experiencing polarity to the max so when you talk about a lot of um, you talk about the shock and the awe and about the systems breaking down that's probably going to have a huge effect on people like we were just talking about, those, those couples who are married with mortgages. I mean, if all of a sudden the banking systems collapse and money is worthless, then how do you pay a mortgage? What is a mortgage? Does it cease to exist? Maybe that's how it will happen with people who are, you know, living that very 3D matrix, I guess, living in the matrix life. Yeah, well, if the system collapses, I feel it'll bring people together. I think they're actually propping it up because they understand, like, mm. if That's everything does crumble, it's, you know, it, like, it makes everybody equal and, and you know, and come together. I mean, can you yeah. imagine? Yeah. Think about it. If the, if the, if the banking... That? Okay, go ahead. Well, yeah. I was going to say that if money is worthless and if, if we're kind of locked into this mortgage, then it shows that having each other is more important than having possessions. 
you know, as a basic thing. And whatever the bankers or, you know, whatever these people say to us who have these debts and, and, and mortgages, I don't know how that would play out. But the important thing is to, you know, to be grateful for what we have. And if something does happen and if, you know, we are all, I don't know, forced to, like, leave our houses and come together, you know, no matter what happens, like, at least that way, if we can relate to each other rather than to, you know, start bickering or panic, you know, so somehow there, there's going to be a way to hold the, the love and just to, uh, you know, just see what we do have and, you know, do we really need money? Like, I think a lot of people agree that they would rather live without it, you know, to a certain extent. So. We don't need money. No. I understand that. We just need oh. vacations. Oh. Well, again, a, a, again, Philip Hoffman's <laughs> comment comes up again when he, when he said, you know, that I was much happier when I had less. I was more free when I had nothing. You know, he talked about that. And he, mm -hmm. he said, you know, when I um, lived in a, um, he, his words, shithole of an apartment, and I had to go to a payphone. He so said I was much happier. I have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> You're making it work for me. For crying out loud. When you, when you have less stuff, there is nothing to worry That's about. That's what he nothing said. That's protect. basically yeah. what he was yeah. saying. That's what he was saying. And you know, think about it. If the, if the bank, if the banking system collapses, and you have Bill Gates with the last dollar, or a farmer with the apple, what has more value? Thank you. Yeah. Right? Mother Nature. At the end of the day, you got to eat, but the money means nothing, right? So it's yeah. kind of interesting. So, so okay, so you guys so are going to do this. Uh, what are you doing? A series of healing events. Throughout the city? Do you have anything like planned right now? Uh, we have a lot of ideas, but nothing firmed up. But we're looking to do something possibly at the uh, Village Healing Center on Roncesvalles around mm -hmm. the end of the month. Uh, I'll let you talk about that. Yeah, uh, it's it's not 100% confirmed yet, but um, uh, they used to offer uh, Reiki outreach. So it's just a, a matter of us carrying carrying it on um, with the, the woman who works in the Village Healing Arts Um and basically, so it's it's at the Emmanuel Park Church next door. So they have, um, I guess it's like a, a meal offered on Sunday, the fourth Sunday of every month. So basically, besides the dinner and the the you know coming together as a group uh, up on the on the podium or kind of sectioned off is like an area to give uh, mini Reiki sessions mm. to people. Mm. In um, you know they might be in high risk. Uh, type of uh, living environment so and a lot of people were coming back uh, f just for the Reiki besides the dinner uh, they were they nice, loved it and, nice. and they saw a decrease in stress um, you know maybe less physical pain so that's just one I one uh, possibility and that's monthly and that would be indoors you know what <laughs> it just made me it, you know just popped into my head is last week we interviewed um, the modern knowledge tour Right, these guys are going on a tour across Canada, 11 cities I think, and they're talking about truth and they're bringing out truth about whatever, the systems and UFOs and that kind of thing. I thought, you know what, you guys should have like a healing road show. They basically yeah. have a modern knowledge road show is what, what it is, the truth road show. You guys should think about doing that and bringing it to um, small places. I, you know, I don't think you have as much that much equipment. I don't know. That might be something for you guys to consider to go to rural communities and bring it to them. Actually, uh, I know. sort of plan some stuff like that, but that's for down the road. Uh, okay. I, I created something called a big picture. I just wrote everything on a piece of paper and got stuff like Ottawa, Montreal, uh, London. Looking to do road trips. So yeah, yeah, uh, that would be. Like I mean, these healing road trips. Well, you yeah. know, groups connecting with other groups, but before you can. For it to work fully, you got to complete your own stuff. Yeah. You know, get you get everything together, and then you collect, you know, connect with other complete groups, and that's when everything goes to a new level. Yes. You know, the collective journey. So we're looking to do a lot of stuff like that. I got a lot of ideas, just, <laughs> just to get them out there and implement yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah. Practicality. Yeah. 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 Laura, are you going to go on that tour too? Yeah, I'm from Ottawa. Are you? I'm game. Did not know that. Yeah, I need to visit. <laughs> <laughs> what a, what an excuse to go. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so you just get a, what, a, like a big cube van. You get some equipment donated. Like, because you're, you don't were really you talking about much, filming right? this? Is this what they're doing? No, no. Oh, yeah, um, no, they're not well, actually filming it. Who's that? Those uh, guys? Not, yeah, they are. They are filming it? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, then they're filming it too. Maybe the in-between parts of like, okay, we're heading here today, and this is our what our mission is, and let's see what happens. Life is a reality TV show now. 
right? If you're not filming your life, what? <laughs> Why are you wasting your life? <laughs> Why waste it? Oh my God. Why you know it? what? We're all going to be born with a video camera. We're all going to be born with a video camera. Yeah. It's, instead, of, we're, you know, it's, we're, instead of being implemented with those chips. I, okay, I got, a, I got a crazy question. And you guys, by the way, is there anything we haven't talked about yet yeah. before I ask my crazy question? Because I want to talk about what you guys want to talk about. But I want to hear your crazy question first. <laughs> it's about transhumanism. Dave, what do you I'm think not, about trans? I'm not sure what you, you know, mean like here. this is like the uh, enhanced reality. It eventually mean maybe genetic modification. Uh, you know, like uh, where in the integration of the biological human with technology, Hugh, that sort of thing. What would make you even bring that up? Oh, these guys are talking about it. Oh, you guys were talking about it. You want this one? I <laughs> no. no idea what <laughs> But I mean, you know, I mean, you guys are healing people and stuff like that. But if the idea of the human being actually changes and we become integrated with our technology somehow. What okay, so like he's cloning and stuff? Collective. Huh? Well, like cloning? Maybe even cloning, yeah. To create the perfect human? Yeah. Or something? Yeah. Okay, they so did that with monkeys. I did think. they do that with monkeys? I think so. They did. did I they didn't did they read get the, the article, perfect monkey? though. What's that? Did they get the perfect monkey? Well, I yeah, I think it's going to be like a worker monkey. <laughs> Does it Are fly? you serious? I, thi I think so. Don't quote me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm hearing a lot about drones. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Well, drones it? too. Drones oh. could be What's part of the picture. What is a drone? It's What's like uh, a helicopter a with a camera. Yeah. It's a, it's, it could be a little airplane that is <gasps> controlled from um, an, uh, an operator sitting at a computer can control it. And, f and they could even have a little fly. A little fly. As big as a fly. But it's a little robot that flies and it could come and look at you. And you just think it's a fly, but it's being operated by somebody in Arlington, Texas. <laughs> so, um, so if they <coughs> implant that kind of technology into a human, is that what you're talking about? What transhuman would be that kind of technology, so that yeah. you're literally remote control? Or even person? our personalities downloaded into the internet. Interesting. Oh, I know one thing though. Before to uh, fully work, uh, integrating, I guess, humans with technology, you got to change the energy of technology everything's done now for profit and greed and not for the highest good of the planet and the beings living on it so it needs to be an energy shift before so what i, I would even work what i okay. see you guys doing uh, with the healing is completely the opposite and to prevent what you're talking about yeah. because i think what they're doing is honoring the human as sacred and perfect and whole in and of itself and doesn't need any doctoring and I think what you're talking about is the opposite. And I think they're actually trying to create a consciousness that actually can overcome that kind of... Is that Does true? that make sense? I, I tend to agree with Sandra on this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm just asking questions. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> My own position on transhumanism is... No, it's, it's so funny that you mentioned that because <laughs> in the last funny. few days, that's been popping up <laughs> in my radar. What, Trans the transhumanism? Transhuman, yeah. It, it's been popping up so much. This is like number three in the last two days. And I'm like, what the heck is with that? Why is that coming into my reality? I don't know, but I'm going to play a video after this. Oh, well, there we go. To, um, Everything's about the video he plays in between the interviews. That's going to um, kind of highlight that. But that's a different topic. That's really not what we're talking about. Well, in a way it is. Today. In a way it is because it's the opposite. It really is. It's about not doing mm. that. It's about, you know, if you mm -hmm. are complete and whole, Hugh, yeah. you can't do that. Well, you can't implement anything that would have any effect. Nothing can change you if you are complete and whole of yourself because nothing is more powerful than and the you truth. You wouldn't human. want to either. Right? Yeah. So, no right. technology. And that, I think, counters. I think that's a holistic approach to not allow that lacking, giving up your control. Right. Un you know, unknowingly, too, yeah. right? Because you don't know who's controlling. But who would want to give... I wouldn't want to be a remote. I wouldn't volunteer. Mm -hmm. Even if you said you'll have everything you ever want. Okay, guys. Here's right? This, you know... Now, you guys... I don't know if you hear about this, but you hear about, like, oh, they're going to chip everybody. Like the, that's a big plan. They're going to, like, put the a FEMA micro... FEMA stamps. That you're the FEMA... About. Yeah. They're just oh. going to microchip everybody. Right? You guys heard about that, Laura? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, from your perspective as healers, what, what, what do you have to say about that? I don't think it's a nice idea. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, it's a, it's a tracking system. Yeah, right. Of course. And with the uh, what was it with the helicopter with the camera? The drone. The drone. They yeah. were s there was one uh, article mentioning that they could put them in ca uh, classrooms to monitor kids uh, in their learning environment and stuff. But 
So the, wow. the whole point of it is that a lot of this stuff and a lot of us, we don't need to be changed. We don't. Exactly. We're, we're, we're already wonderful the way we are. So, um, you know, because with the GM foods, it, you know, it's pretty much been proven that the, the food affects us and it changes us, but not in the ways that, uh, you know, those companies are thinking that it would change. They're, they're not thinking about how it's going to affect us later. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have sensitivities and allergies to this food. So a tomato is a tomato. Like, it doesn't need an upgrade. You know? Exactly. I don't know. I think I'll be happier if it glows in the dark. <laughs> so You're going to start to glow in the yeah, dark. Say, does that mean? Yeah. You know, of course, I'm just joking. But, um, so, but on the one hand, you guys are talking about, Dave, because you mentioned, you know, you're living in the fourth dimension. I'm not sure what no, that means. No, he said Earth is. Well, Earth. our planet's in the fourth dimension, and a lot of us have chosen to shift with her. Yeah. A lot of people are holding on to okay. the 3D polarity sure. of fear okay. and separation. Too. So there you are, and you, you're shifting into that. But on the other hand, we talk about this stuff, like the threat of potentially being microchipped, like a global police state, and that kind of thing, right, is... is I mean, it's bad news, I right? Mean, no good when or you bad. hear about it, right? It's a program of ego, right? The program of ego only knows one thing, you know, control, mm -hmm. manipulate, and it's not going it's to keep going. It's not going to yeah. stop. It's either, we're either going to shift or everything's going to be destroyed in this planet. It's so now, like, doesn't that sound like Atlantis? It's pretty simple. Does that you know? sound like the return of Atlantis once again? Isn't that how Atlantis fell or so we... Hmm. You, you Man, know I'm, more about that. Well, I'm really confused. I'll tell you, because I, I watched this video last night. On, well, that's uh, why he's confused. He watched I, a video my whole, last my night. My whole <laughs> cosmology is being shaken up, but it was about uh, this. Uh, it was about what are called archons. Yeah, the archon program, yeah. The yeah. archons, which are the, um, sort of ones mentioned. That, they took down Atlantis there. Well, oh yeah, they're, yeah. they're yeah. Okay. from the Nag Hammadi Library. That's where they're, I've, I've read about them like 15, 20 years ago. I, I can see yeah. them too. Four dimensional are, beings. Are they good guys or bad guys? They're not good. Yeah. <laughs> so these archons <laughs> are like, the uh, and, and yeah. now uh, the, the fellow was talking about, he's saying, you know, fundamentally we have to overthrow the God of Abraham, which is our entire programming, mm -hmm. right? Well, they're not necessarily overthrow, more like transcend it and transmute it. You know, every time you fight something, you just make it stronger and more resilient. You become the fight. When well, yeah. fight, essentially fight, what he was saying, the, the truth is the truth, whatever the truth is. Right. Mm -hmm. So okay. either we buy into the truth or we buy into so, something else. So you know what then? What this is making me think of is, is, is it possible we are at that whole Atlantis crossing um, where, you know, we can either fall with technology or rise well, it's not the technology. with consciousness. Technology can be used for good too. It's just but it's not being. No, for the most part, no. Except right. for those Exa GoPros. Those are really cool. It's all cameras. consciousness. Once we shift to love, everything else is going to fix automatically. And you know what? You can think it's of consciousness as too. technology too. Consciousness technology, really. If you want to kind of compare with technology, you can say consciousness technology, really, because we are a program too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything's a program, right? Yep. So really, you could just say it's it's technology called consciousness as opposed to digital or it's computer. Just, it's what I see is with the technology is there's like this monitoring uh, and this lack of trust that you know, we've given you the internet, but uh, mostly mm. in the US, they're monitoring usage and they're, you know, people are being arrested in their homes for no reason, you know, because they're maybe more conscious and they're, you know, they're, they're attending protests and they're speaking out about the truth and not, uh, you know, all sorts of things. But, um, and what's being suppressed is our innate power that we, that we have. And power is kind of a funny word, but, you know, uh, with meditation and turning inwards, there's a lot of, uh, you know, abilities that we can tune into, mm -hmm. create your own video mm -hmm. game in mm -hmm. your in your mind, and then you don't have wires and use electricity and, but, okay, you come know, on. like you can, but you can, whatever you can imagine, you can create in your reality. We're, really? we're, we're creator God and goddesses. Are we? Because Absolutely. He, okay, but, but there you are at home, okay? Yeah, things are bad in the States because they got the three different colored FEMA stickers. But here, I mean, they just announced last week they're integrating, sharing inf border information at the border with U.S. Homeland Security. Like, sorry, I don't like that, right? Our no, government is running amok. We're just a few years behind the States. Yeah. And so you're at home creating your own video game in your mind, <laughs> Laura. But meanwhile, the police state marches on and 
you know, they're ma monitoring our internet traffic and everything else. Yeah, you gotta yeah. remember though, nothing's good or bad. Everything's done for the highest good here. It's like... Uh, it's for you to make a choice. Like I, th it? I thank Obama, I thank uh, Monsanto. It's like, they're doing this stuff in plain sight. They're not even trying to hide it. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna keep doing it until either people wake up or everything falls apart. It's pretty simple. Just a program of ego. And it's gonna keep running and running. All right. But at, at least if you're at home and you're choosing the vibration you're emitting, uh, that's I think that will help. Besides what else you're going to do with the rest of your, of your day, you know, there's a balance. But um, speaking of, there's an event next Friday on Valentine's that's it's called uh, World uh, Global Sound Healing Day. So I don't know if you really? guys have heard. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. I wonder if our next guest, Michael no. Moon, knows about that. He's a sound yeah. Healer. Do you know about Michael? Just you know a Michael? little bit, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh, he's got to know about this. Yeah. But they're going to sound, uh, they're encouraging uh, groups to get together or even if you're by yourself at noon, uh, by your time zone or whatever time you can, just to um, emit the sound ah for about five minutes. Wow. And it's going to create a, a beautiful uh, vib vibratory wave across the world. Now, and is that, does it matter what noon time, what time zone that noon is in? Or like, do I do 12 o'clock Eastern, even if somebody yeah. else is in Pacific doing at 12 o'clock there? Yes. That's okay? So basically kind of for the full day or half a day before and half a day after, it, people will be doing this. So okay. it's going to be almost for a full, say, 24, 24 hours. hours. Wow. But that's yeah. really beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Okay. You're going to yeah. do that, Hugh. Okay. Okay. I'm all about that. Kind of like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, and where? Uh, so, you don't have anything uh, in terms of the actual schedule of your events, but do you have a website? Well, I mean, the, is there the Reiki Mondays? Yeah, I do yeah. Reiki Mondays at uh, House of Energy every second Monday. Every Monday, there'll be a healer there from Mind, Body, Soul. Oh, where from, is that? It's at uh, Augusta, just south of uh, Kensington. It's in Kensington Market. Oh, near the Augusta, in the South End. Oh, and so uh, okay. yeah, it's, it runs from two to six every Monday, and there's All a right. group meditation afterwards. Okay. Beautiful. And anything Beautiful. else you should let us know about? Laura, do you have anything Why don't you talk well, about what you do, Laura, before we end the interview here? <laughs> oh, well, um, well, I'm part of Mind, Body, Soul Healing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, do, I do have a day job as well, but um, basically uh, I, ass I assist in uh, the Reiki. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to be part of the Reiki outreach, and, which is going to be the uh, fourth Sunday of the month, so that's uh, February 23rd. And uh, I offer Zenith Omega sessions as well. Okay. Is, and now what's your day job? Is that your day job? No, that's... Uh, your day job's your 3D job? Is that what we mean by day job? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's a not-for-profit, though. It's a, it's a great company oh, to work for. What's good. Zenith Omega? <laughs> Zenith Omega is an energy management system. So it works to remove blocks, energy blocks, uh, emotional, physical. Does it really work? I'll let yeah. you know I'm going for a session after yeah. this. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's good. part of... We're Very excited. Yeah. Have you had a vortex healing from Sunshine? I have. We're going to ah. do another yeah. one of those so later, too. In order to support each other, we're, it's good for the nine of us to do energy exchanges as well. Of so, course, that makes sense. You know, and then we know more about what all of us offer, yeah. and we can learn more. Um, and then it helps us to, to clear anything that we may be manifesting. And merge right. together as a collective more, too. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Great. Uh, now, is web websites for people that want to get and stay in touch with you guys? Okay. Uh, just, uh, I'll start first, I guess. Uh, website is mindbodysoulhealing.ca. Uh, I can be reached by email at sunshinedave at mindbodysoulhealing.ca. On Twitter, sunshinedave.to. Is that hashtag? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> at sunshinedave.to. And uh, YouTube channel is sunshinedave2012. And you can find me on Facebook too. Okay. And right. we're planning to do a lot of events this year, a lot of events outdoor in parks once the weather is warm, a lot of indoor events Hope east we have and a west lot of in the warm city. We're yeah. going to rock this planet in the next dimension here, cool. the Golden Age Bay. So those drones ain't got nothing mm -hmm. on sunshine. And Laura, how about you? Do you have websites or contact info? I'm uh, doing the, the Twitter page for Mind Body Soul Healing, okay. which is Mind Body Soul TO. Yeah. Okay. At Mind Body Soul. So, yeah. T-O or dot T-O? T-O. Okay. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Great to have you guys on. Thank, 
Thank Good you. Luck, guys. Love so to much. have you back. We could have been talking all day about yes, this. Absolutely. Got into some crazier topics. Yeah, next time. We next didn't time. even talk about the aliens. Oh, <laughs> okay. So uh, I was uh, just going to play, get into Michael Moon's music, but I do have a video I want to play because we're talking about the transhumanism thing. This is the Archon X Prize video. We'll, and Sounds then we'll, like an Xbox game or something. And then we'll get into Michael Moon and uh, Liquid Lunch will continue.